is not the weather that you had in mind when you were preparing and planning for this day. I know that little girls dream of their wedding day. And I know that there's great fantasies in all this. And this is not the day you would have chosen, at least for the weather as it is. But that's going to be what might happen from this day forward. Things will not go as painstakingly laid out as you have planned them to be as husband and wife. So there's going to be things along the road of life that are going to change, that are going to go against your plans. But I want you to focus on one thing. Don't focus on the plans that you've had or the weather that you hoped for. Don't plan on this day and this event, but remind yourself to plan on the person you're with. That's the most important thing today. It's not the beautiful sunshine that's shining, but we just can't see. It's who you're with. It's the person you're standing next to. I'm Josh's favorite cousin, but more importantly, Kayla's my best friend. During one of the hardest times of Kayla's life, I remember going on one of our many nightly walks through her parents' neighborhood. She had told me that she wasn't sure that she'd ever find someone again. And I told her, Kayla, you will. I can see it now. He's going to be the most amazing man and treat you right and be, you'll be happier than you've ever been before. Not long after that, we hung out with Josh and his friends. And the next day she called me to say, so I think your cousin's cute. <laughs> it's not what I pictured. <laughs> Josh, can you believe it's our wedding day? It's surreal how quickly time has gone. It seems like we just saw each other at Old Settlers a few months ago, not almost three years ago. And now, by the end of the day, I'll get to call that handsome guy who caught my eye, my husband. Dear Kayla, words cannot truly express my love for you. I do not know where I would be without you. You make me feel like I could accomplish anything in life. And I know that together we truly can accomplish anything with you by my side. You are better than I could have ever imagined and far more than I deserve. As we continue our journey into marriage, I can't promise you a lifetime of happiness without sorrow. I can't guarantee we won't have hardships or feel defeated. I can't tell you we won't have arguments or that we'll always agree with one another. But I can promise you that I'll face hard times with you and make the most out of any difficult situation. You said the following things about each other when we were talking in marriage counseling and preparing for this day and what lies forward. And I asked you, what is it that you fell in love with the other person? And you used words like genuine, respect, trust. She brought out the best in you. You genuinely found your best friend in each other. Build on those words throughout your marriage. Let your marriage, let yourself still be genuine. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Don't try to be something that the world wants you to be. Be whom God created you to be, and your relationship will continue to be genuine. Trust each other. I love how well we balance each other out. I know how much it stresses you out to think about our future, but it brings me comfort that you are there to make me think ahead. I love that I am here to hopefully keep us living in the present whenever possible. For all these reasons and for many more that I cannot find the words to express, I love you more than anything in the world and I will continue to do so for as long as I shall live. I love how she just pushes me to be a better person and uh, when I get comfortable at times she, she pushes me for more and uh, just knows I'm capable of more. Uh, there's just so much to love. He's genuinely just the best person I know. Like he's so trustworthy and he respects me and he's so fun. Like he's like the life of the party and I think he gives me out of my shell and we balance each other out because I'm so stressed, a stressful person. I have to know what's going on, think about the future. And he's just like, you know, be in the moment, have fun. And so he's just genuinely just the greatest person I know. Everyone that loves him 
or meets him, loves him, and I can see why. And I just, I feel so blessed to know him, let alone get to spend the rest of my life with him. Long when life is gone, and the sun is setting, you'll still be side by side, knowing that you've weathered the rain, and you've fathomed the storms that have come to you, you've conquered those because of the strength and love God has created for you, for you especially. I promise to encourage you, inspire you, and laugh with you. I promise to be your strength when you feel weak. I promise to take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I, Josh, take you, Kayla. I, Kayla, take you, Josh. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in what? In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and health. As, as long, long as, as we, we both shall live. Kayla and Josh, now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May he lift up his favor upon you both now and forevermore. Josh, you may now kiss your bride. Kayla, I vow to be by your side during not only the good times, but also all the difficult times when it seems like life is too much. I know that together we can make it through any situation. I vow to do everything within my power to be an active listener and to try and understand the times when our feelings may differ. I know at times I fail you in this aspect, but I vow to always focus on improving in this manner. You know, this is another chapter of the life and I'm glad you brought Josh into our family. We are so fortunate to have you, Josh. I really hope that you have real happiness, not true happiness, but real happiness. It's not about anything else other than yourselves and what you do with other people. Don't ever take anything for granted. Don't take each other for granted. Above all, I promise to not give up on us and to love and respect you all the days of my life. I love you most, Joshua Miles Corbett. Love your bride. Finally, I vow to do everything I can to ensure that all of your hopes and dreams in life come true. I will hold true to this vow, even when those dreams may seem out of reach. I hope that I have found the words to truly express my love and feelings to you. I may not be the best with words, but just know that I love you more than anything and promise to do anything to ensure your happiness. Thank you.